Oh, Dr. Goodness. Cog, it's getting worse out there. Yes, and it's raining too. Oh, dear. But, uh, well, uh, I just finished my count of the last few months. Oh, really? Does it cover all those uh, the deaths and the wars? Uh, no, I think the event will require a whole other book. Yes. Uh, how does this sound? Uh, it was a lot nicer back then than when I write this. You see, uh, these strange yellow walls, I don't know who painted them, they're disgusting. <laughs> They really are. Oh, yes. I, I'd completely forgotten they were there. We had them so covered up with newspaper cuttings. And... Anyhow, they'll continue. Yes, sorry, sorry. Carry on, Professor. Or I covered them with so many newspaper cuttings and logs and different papers of mine and the greases that I'd forgotten the, the colour they were. But anyhow, that is more of a side note for the main than something of great import to the story. It was quite a long time ago when, uh, when we invented the T.S. Hopper now, by the time I'm writing this. The Grease and I have been working at it for many, many years. What shall I call it, I wonder? Shack tape? No, it's quite a good name. Ah, the Grease! Uh, anything new going on up there? Mm. <coughs> Constable Parkinson. Uh, the league are on the move again, I see. But at least we can have faith uh, and hope that the TS opera is nearly fixed. <coughs> oh, I see your condition's worsening. Well, at least when the TS opera's uh, being reproduced, we can, maybe we can find a cure. I've just got the charging core. It's ready. Although my protocol radiation damage is uh, less, uh, to a lesser extent than yours, I just dearly hope that we can cure you in time. Now, uh, let's see. 75% <coughs> already, that's a vast increase over our previous experiments. 80%, 95%, it's fully charged. Well, I think it's time we make history, the Grease. Tomorrow the papers will say, Professor Chap makes first TS hop. The Grease created, the Grease created device allows the user to travel through time and space. <laughs> Oh, imagine what they will say. <laughs> well, I better use it. I mean, your condition is pretty bad. I mean, uh, I've only got some minor character damage from my teeth from protocol radiation. We don't know what it would do to you, such a powerful protocol. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I don't mind if I lose my teeth. I mean, I can still drink tea, can't I? <laughs> well, off I go! The immense energy appears to be interfering with the light sources. Oh dear, there goes one. And what's going on? That, that flashing, I mean... What, what is it? And what about the grease? Yes. There's a bit about him too. The Grease was my best friend. A, the best work compatriot anybody could have. And then I came back to the, uh, I came back to the laboratory one day and there was a note there. To my dear friend and colleague, Ernest Chap. As you know, I've been suffering from radiation sickness for many months now as a result of our protocol experiments. I've known for a long time that it is killing me. <laughs> because you refuse to let me make the first TS hop in history. Uh, don't worry! I, um, at worst I'll lose my teeth and I'll still be able to drink tea then. Let me go, to Grace. I go! Yeah, I've decided that my final act will be to TS hop without any set coordinates. I'm fully aware of the danger, but owing to my illness, I really don't have any concerns about where I re-solidify afterwards. I don't expect that we shall ever meet again. It's been a pleasure working alongside you for all these months. Solomon Le Grease. So angry was I, friend's death, that I smashed the TS charger and tore his papers down from the walls. The person went downhill. The Grease was normally the tiny one, and I wouldn't let the servants near, my, near me except to bring me food and a drink, much of which I never finished. So, uh. 
<laughs> Professor, did you include uh, the, the first time I came to work for you? Oh yes, of course. It's uh, it's just here on page forty. <clears throat> it got terrible after a month, but uh, so I was fixing a TS charger. Who should enter but Doctor Cog? Professor? Professor? Ah. Ah. Oh, Dr. Dr. Cog, sorry. Why have you got these dice on the floor? It, it was an experiment in a... Uh, uh, oh my goodness, Professor. T.S. Hopper Rival. What's going on here? Well, I, um, I, uh, well, you see... Ow! Ow. The grease went and, uh, I, 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 uh, I... The grease went? I, I don't, yes, a uh, long story. And I sort of, um, well, with nobody to clean up around the place, I just sort of, uh, it is Professor, it's really dark in here. What? Uh, what? what? <sighs> oh, thank my goodness, you. why is it such a mess? Well, I, I, I haven't really been cleaning up very much. Oh my goodness, to think of it. Professor, have you worked out a way to use kinetic energy to charge the, to charge the, the, the TS charger? No, 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 that's a coffee grinder. It grinds coffee. Right, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, 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 so what are you doing here? Ah, well, uh... I had my thesis marked, and well, now yes. I'm a doctor, Doctor Cog. So did they didn't give you the grant in the end. Oh, good. Oh, I let her yes. reach for them. Uh, so I thought I'd come and work for you. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yes, I have rather uh, lost it here a bit. So how about you go and tell the servants to get us some tea, as a good chap, and then we you can help me clean up, and then we can finish the uh, TS charger and start on some of that research of ours. Yes. Tea. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, oh, don't worry. It's only uh, just go and tell the servants. They'll actually make the tea. I'm sure. Seven years of research. Ow! Okay, Found the dice! And now the bombs fall, closer than ever. The servants have already gone through and are preparing the safe house for us. It must be a strange world through there. I dearly hope that it is nicely appointed as I enjoy here. Dr. Cobb assured me that there are good facilities there. But I must leave. I fear that the bombs will hit, up, will hit our laboratory in minutes. We may never return to this world again. Very interesting, Professor. It's strange now that I know the entire picture. Well, I need to go. No, we need to use mine. Why is uh, that? Well, I don't have any wire left, do I? I'm not going to connect them, are we? Oh, yes, they could. I suppose they're not that accurate. Right. Grab okay. a hold! Hang on a minute. Yes, use the two leaf system. Very well. Ready to go? Yep. This isn't the safe house. What is this place? Looks like some sort of bookshop. Not really a bookshop. What is he wearing? <clears throat> what, what are you wearing? Your shirt is. Oh my goodness! The colour of a dye, it's gone. It's white. This, this must look hideous. Ah, a voter. That's, that's familiar. Hmm. Is in. Are they for children? Is this some sort of nation of idiots? Hmm. Actually, some of this is quite good, Professor. Really? Yes, uh, I had a crap on that. A crown should be sufficient, I assume. Keep the change. Come on. Very well. It's very good, actually. These are quite amazing things. Uh. Oh, Mr. Hamilton, what?
what have you done? Look at this terrible trend you've begun. You make me sick, you contemptible dog. I blame you for the death of the cog. Clock used to be such magnificent things. Beautiful sprockets and dazzling springs. But you gave the people your digital beast. And in turn, now all gears are deceased. How things have changed from when I was a boy. Clockwork would tick and would bring me much joy. But with your advent, there's no need to wind. Everything charming has been left behind! Oh, Mr. Hamilton, you dirty fiend. Your modern timepiece is cruel and obscene. I was a lover of gears great and small. They all were my friends and you've murdered them.